Hey, what did um what did Richard Nixon say to Gordon Ramsay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not a cook. <laughs> Start the show. And now for the people bringing up about the latest in gaming news, get ready to get funky, it's the Sam Time News! And it's game time. Hello, welcome to the Sam Time News, where we get the latest and greatest news on video games. I'm your host, Sam Tucker, a.k.a. Sam Time, and this episode is brought to you by Mario Kart Olympics. Picked up another box, I'm left behind. Mm, oh, beautiful precision aim there. Let's get in some stories. Number five. With the viral hit being removed from the App Store, someone has remade Flappy Birds out of cardboard. The handmade creation came to life with help of motors and magnetic sensors thanks to... I don't know how to say that, so I'll just say... Funky! It looks just as infuriating as its virtual counterpart, except now users could find the relief in taking out their anger on a tangible box. Stupid arrogant box. If you are still annoyed by your smartphone Flappy Bird application, you could always use this cheat password, two Asians and a robot. These guys used an ingenious method of electronics, hard drives and cameras to create this Flappy Bird's robot in under four days. That's pretty cool. Number four. If you've had fun making friends with zombies and weirdos in Day Z, then you will love this Armor 3 mod that adds dinosaurs to the mix. Jurassic Armor looks amazing, fusing the realistic game world of armor with the dinosaurness of dinosaurs. Now, can someone please make a post-apocalyptic game where instead of getting uh, infected with a zombie virus, you get injected with a virus that turns you into a dinosaur? <laughs> ah, I can't shoot him. He used to be Larry. Very cool. I can't wait for this idea to get really fleshed out. Ah, oh, and just to say, the clip that demonstrates this mod is funnier than anything I could have imagined. Number three. We all knew Sonic was a bit of a cheeky bum, but just how cheeky was he? Well, in this Remy Gaylord clip, we see he's causing all sorts of mischief. He loves rings and he loves speed. Oh, 500, oh, that's too fast. The best part is when he's interacting with the police who don't altogether appreciate his antics. Yes, now, sorry to let you down, but it is all just a prank by what seems to be this guy. And that's a bit rude. I much prefer to watch a bit of Mario Seinfeld. She gave you the it's not you, it's a me routine? <laughs> oh yeah! Number, Number two. two. Google, as they do, are doing things. More specifically, Google Project Tango are developing a phone that can map 3D space using its 4 megapixel camera and other black magic, such as a depth sensor, motion tracker, and vision processors. The phone can accurately track itself in 3D space, as well as perceive and process the geometric world around it in real time. The technology could be used to make some pretty sweet games or apps, or could even help the blind to navigate, possibly by providing audible cues, though I'd much prefer googly eyes. But it is, of course, most likely going to make it to those killer robots we talked about last episode. Number one. Watch out, internet. This cat has some pretty sharp claws. Kaipotainment's X-Men Wolverine cat will stop at nothing to nonchalantly destroy house and helicopter, all in pursuit to catch the human fly. List the human part. I tell you what, this cat probably gets a lot more respect than this robber did when he tried to rob a Chinese bank. When presented with a meat cleaver weapon, the teller just turns around and has a laugh. I mean, come on, man, at least get off the phone while you're robbing the place. <laughs> the assailant is quickly subdued by security in this shocking footage. I know, right? They get chairs at this bank. Come on, rest of the world, this is what we should be demanding. Chairs in the bank. Chairs in the bank. Chairs in the bank. And that's the same time news. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, by the way, there's an awesome uh, behind the scenes making of uh, official on YouTube for The Last of Us. Definitely check it out. <laughs> Subscribe for more news. Stay tuned for Funky Time. And until next time, this is Sam Tucker saying, ah, oh, stay funky, everyone. It's Sam Time. Subscribe today. Funk it down. Fact, computers will be smarter than us in 15 years. Yes, that means more Terminators, Howls, and Stabby Robertos. A horrific Matrix-like robo world ruled by a weird baby face machine is almost certain. Now, put Keanu Reeves on notice telling him that he may have to save us all, so make sure that you don't get fat. I tell you what, this cat probably gets a lot more respect than this robber did when he tried to... Oh my f***ing god, f***ing drivers, so is holy.